Welcome back to Farm Built Fabrications, and today we've got a new gas tank that we're going to get installed in Julia's truck today. Now, if you're wondering why I'm going to be doing this next to the shop instead of in the shop, yeah, I don't know. So anyways, in front of me here, we've got a brand new tank. We have new gas tank straps, the filler neck hoses, and then we have new hardware for the straps and everything underneath, new gas cap, and we have a new pickup as well. All right, so let's start the assembly of this tank, get all of our things installed in it before we go ahead and move it on the truck. First thing that we're gonna get installed is going to be our vent. So that goes in the top here, this is the gasket for it. Slide that guy in like this, or it might honestly be easier. Stick it in here first. Next thing that we get is going to be our new pickup. The next thing we're gonna to have to install are gonna be our rubber fuel filler necks. This is the vent, and this is the actual fill neck. Not exactly sure what this uh, taco piece of metal thing is exactly. My guess is it's probably something to do with just clearancing in between the bed and the frame, but we'll get this on. And if you're gonna be doing this, face uh, the opening here at your vent. It's gonna come through like this. And then I also think that this little kick up, that should be going to uh, where the filler neck is. All right, so moving out of the truck, we've got our new straps that go underneath as well as isolators. Uh, it's just this rubber pad that sits on top in between the, uh, the brace here and the tank. And what that does is it keeps down any noise from rattling around with the metal on metal. So, but it is gonna be a real pain to, with these just kind of sitting on here, to get these mounted and the tank in and the hardware, et cetera, et cetera, without these falling off. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to come. So the first thing you wanna do is get your one end started. And if you see, you've got a slotted hole on one side and just a regular one on the other. I'm going to be putting the slotted hole on the front and that way it gives you a little bit of play to let it kind of hang down so you can get your tank. And uh, obviously you're gonna have one here and then the other one's gonna be right here. You could set the tank on top and then swing it up and set your other bolt and then tighten everything down.
All right. All right. So we got our new tank in here. Woo. Good ab workout. So I just need to tighten these guys down. The, uh, the straps, front and rear. We got the hoses we need to route in between the frame and the bed. You can see that's where we're, our end goal is, is to get through there. And again, that's why you'd want to put the angled part. You can see that. That's why you want the angled part to shoot up towards the filler hole where the filler neck's gonna be. And then the other thing that we need to do is get, if you can see it, our fuel line hooked up as well as our sensor for the uh, float. I'm gonna get these tightened down and then we'll probably move to get all this hooked up here. The fuel line mounted on there. I still need to blow out these fuel lines. They've got that varnish gas in it. So we'll get the air compressor running and I'll get that blown out before we get it hooked up because we don't want to have any of that nasty orange varnished fuel in the tank or suck it back into the pump. So with the tank tightened, we've got our plug here. This again is for the fuel indicator. I'll tell you how much gas is in the tank. I get it on there right. All right, so that just slides on like that. Hopefully the circuit is still good. Looks pretty good, the wire. Huh. We'll focus. I mean, it looks nasty, but it looks all together. So we're gonna have to uh, see how it works whenever we got some fuel in here. Make sure it's still in good shape. And if not, we'll fix it. So the next thing we need to do, which is gonna be hard to do with one hand holding the phone is I'm going to hook up the fuel here. I mean, it's really no big deal. I just have to pop on this uh, rubber soft line and put a clamp on it. And before that, before I do that, I'm going to hook up some compressed air in the end of the fuel line, take off the vice grips that I have up front by the fuel pump, if you remember that. And then I'm just gonna blow whatever is in this fuel line out and then I'll get it hooked back up. So after I get that done, I'll get you guys back in and show you. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. So we have our rubber fuel line hooked back up. Got it tightened down with a hose clamp here. So now we're connected back in. And then same thing on the front. And on the front, you can see right here, we took off the channel or the vice grips rather and hooked this original line back up to the fuel pump. So that's connected in. So we're all solid with that. So the last thing that we need to install is this metal filler neck. So our small lines can obviously go on this side, larger on this one. So one issue that we're having is we have a couple pin holes here that we're going to need to probably JD weld up, which is not the ideal solution, but it's the one that we have. These pieces here evidently are next to impossible to find. So I'm glad that we even have this one. It was in the bed of the truck when we bought it, but uh, we are gonna have to get this kind of patched up because we don't want to have any moisture leakage or dirt or anything getting into our new fuel tank. So we're gonna have to run out of store, pick up some JB Weld, we'll get it on this, and then we'll be coming back and getting this put in. Now we'll pretty much wrap up the installation on this new fuel tank. So we're back, I've got the filler neck fixed. I got a couple patches in there. And I got this painted up a little bit. You don't need to get that close to it. It's not that good. <laughs> but anyways, so we got, if you come around here, I've got the filler neck hoses are right there. One concern that I have that will be a temporary issue is since this has the three inch body lift in it, the distance is gonna be a little off. So it might be a little short in there, but we do plan on taking that out. So if it is any bit, any issue at all right now, whenever we get that out, it'll be fine at that point. So. Anyways, going to go ahead, pop this in, and then whenever it's in, I'll get you guys back in. I'll kind of show you how we made out, and that's pretty much going to wrap up the installation on this uh, fuel tank. Well, that all ended up going in pretty flawlessly. Really no issues there. And then whenever uh, we get this body lowered down the three inches back to the stock height, we'll probably just need to loosen these up and slide 
the uh, this metal filler neck in a little bit farther just to take up the slack, but it made it in pretty deep. It's about, about to here. So we have good engagement on both of those hose clamps. And then moving up into the top of the filler neck, we got it poked all the way through, so no issues with it being too short there. And we have our new filler neck cap on. So we got the new gas tank installed. Everything went pretty flawlessly, which is nice to have every once in a while. Usually doing these things, it's just problem after problem. So it's nice to have a pretty smooth win every once in a while. But anyways, we got plenty of stuff to come on this truck, as well as progress that needs to be made on the C10. We're gonna be jumping back into that pretty heavily as well, in addition to this truck and maybe some other projects as they pop up. So thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Get outside, get wrenched on something, piss off your neighbor, disappoint your mom, and until next time, keep on keeping on.